there are four letters and four envelopes and exactly one letter is to be put in exactly one envelope with the correct address see one letter will go in one envelope only but we need to put only one letter with correct address remaining three letters should go in wrong envelopes this is what this sentence means if the letters are randomly inserted into the envelopes then consider the following statements it is possible that exactly one letter goes into an incorrect envelope See, exactly one letter goes into incorrect envelope that means three letters went into correct envelopes then how it will go into incorrect envelope it will also go in correct envelope three letters gone into correct envelopes how can fourth letter will go into incorrect envelope this has no choice it has to go into correct envelope so this is incorrect now there are only six ways in which only two letters can go into the correct envelopes you have four letters you have to choose two letters in how many ways you can choose two letters 4c2 once you have chosen two letters you can put them in correct envelopes you have to put them in correct envelopes this is what this statement means so in these many ways you can choose the letters and in one way you can put them in correct envelope once you have chosen which two letters will go into correct envelope there is only one way you can put them in correct envelope so 4c2 into 1 that is 4c2 4c2 is 4 into 3 by 2 into 1 2 twos are 2 threes are 6 so 6 ways so only second statement is correct you have to choose which two letters and then arrange them arrangement is only one way choosing 4c2 ways total 4c2 ways 6 answer b question based on number system what is the remainder when this product is divided by 100 you are dividing this product with 100 in options you have one of the option as 0 0 remainder See, always make use of options. Just see what are the options and see if they can help you to arrive at the answer quickly. If we have 100 in the numerator, we can say this product is divisible by 100 and the remainder is 0. See, 100 is 25 into 4. Do we have 25 in numerator? 25 is 5 FISA. See, 85 is a 5 multiple. You can take 5 common here in 85 95 is a 5 multiple you can take 5 common i'm not doing completely i definitely know i can take 5 common out of 85 5 17s are here 5 19s are so i can take 5 common i don't worry about what is here 5 into 5 i got 25 now let's worry about 4 96 is it multiple of 4 4 twos are 8 4 4s are yes it's multiple of 4 so i have 4 into 24 here so 25 i got from these two and 4 here that means i have 100 in numerator 100 100 cancels out that means remainder 0 answer a what is the unit digit in the expansion of this again number system question cyclicity concept we have discussed this concept in miscellaneous concepts lecture of number system the problem is based on these two slides very very important easy question it may look difficult but bloody easy question unit digit of this expansion is unit digit of 2 power 9 into 7 into 5 into 3 into 1 unit digit of last digit power n now what is 2 cyclicity 4 divide this product with 4 make use of remainder theorem when you divide 9 with 4 remainder is 1 when you divide 7 with 4 remainder is 3 when you divide 5 with 4 remainder is 1 when you divide 3 with 4 remainder 3 when you divide 1 with 4 remainder 1 this is 9 greater than 4 again divide with 4 remainder 1 what is 2 power 1 that is 2 last digit 2 answer a those who are not getting this very easy concept we have discussed this in our course if you understood it well enough you can solve problems of this type in a jiffy if a b c and d e f are both three digit numbers such that a b c d e and f are distinct non-zero digits such that a b c plus d e f is this one 
then what is the value of this a b c d e and f are distinct they are not same and they are not zero we are adding a b c and d e f we got here one that means c plus f is 11 so c plus f cannot be 1 if that is the case one of them would be 0 0 plus 1 1 but they are non zero digits and c plus f cannot be 21 because maximum you get is 9 plus 8 17 you can get you cannot get 21 if c is 9 f is 8 then 17 you can get so c plus f is 11 so we got one here now again you have one here that means this should be 11 here you have already one so b plus e should be 10 again you got 11 here right so one here one here now this sum is again 11 then only you get 11 here one you already have a plus d should be 10 now the sum is this right so this is 11 plus 10 plus 10 that is 31 answer d d is a three digit number such that the ratio of the number to the sum of its digits is least what is the difference between the digit at the hundreds place and the digit at the units place of d d is a three digit number i took it as abc abc by sum of its digits should be least this is the condition given now when this happens what is the difference between c and a this is what the question is now let's find out this systematically start from 100 first three digit number 100 by 1 plus 0 plus 0 that is 1 now next number 101 by 2 102 by 3 like this up to 109 I am finding out 109 by 10 if you see these fractions are improper fractions I am making use of this rule this is a by b adding 1 in numerator 1 in denominator so a by b is greater than a plus k by b plus k Again, this is greater than this, this is greater than, so this is least from 100 to 109, okay. So, this is least. We have taught this in orders of magnitude lecture from number system. Now, 110 by 2, 111 by 3, 112 by 4, like this, 119 by 11. This is greater than this, like this, this is the least. From 100 to 199, you would be having 109 by 10, 119 by 11, 129 by 12, 139 by 13, like this 199 by 19. These are the least values. Now among them, which one is least? Let's find out. Now if you see this, this is 10.9, 11 tens are. 110 now 9 is there so 11 8s are if you see this is greater than this same pattern will follow so 199 by 19 is the least from 100 to 199 see i am trying to find out the least ratio from 100 to 109 this is least from 110 to 119 this is least so out of all these least ratios which one is least again this one is least now from 200 to 299 this one would be least like this from 900 to 999 this one would be least so we got nine such values till 999 now among them which one is least see 199 to 299 numerator increased 100 where denominator increased just one so which one would be least this one would be least right you compare just these two and find out a pattern 199 by 19 it's around 10 point something take it as 300 because 299 to 300 very less difference so 300 by 20 that is around 15 so 14 point something this is so this is least right so if you see this this is the least among all these 199 by 19 this ratio is least we got that so number is 199 now 9 minus 1 that is 8 answer c